On January 20, 2022, a motorbike rider unfortunately went under a truck transporting explosives for a gold mine in Bogoso. This led to an explosion. People in the community who rushed down to the scene were unfortunately met by a second blast a few minutes later. <laughs> killing 17 people, injuring many and destroying dozens of buildings. The Apiate Support Fund was since launched to raise money, among other things, to support the victims of the incident and reconstruct the community. In September 2022, the Apiati Redevelopment Project commenced. Phase 1, which comprises 124 compressed earth brick houses, has been commissioned. Commissioning the facility, Dr. Baumia commiserated with the victims who suffered the devastation. He commended the efforts of all who contributed to ensure the project materialized. I'm happy that we have done it together. We owe it to the victims of the incident, their families, and our entire nation to prevent such tragedies in the future. On his part, the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Samuel Abujinapu, reiterated his ministry's condolences to the victims, adding the facility will bring some relief to victims. If anybody thought that governments do not keep their promises, the Vice President made a promise to the people of Apiati, and this is a promise made, a promise kept. And if anybody thought that governments cannot deliver, President Akufuado and Vice President Mohamedou Bahoumiya's government has demonstrated that there is a government here in Ghana which is delivering, which will deliver, and which will forever deliver for the people of Ghana, the people of Pristia Huni Valley, and the people of Apiati. Divisional Chief of the Wasafiasi Traditional Area, Nana Atakwejo Brimbi II, is meanwhile calling for expedited action to complete phase two of the project. I urge the president and reconstruction team to expedite phase two of the project to assist the remaining victims.